All right, folks. Hey, everything new under the sun. This is going to be, I think, a quick and straightforward video. I want to do a video about how to extract thumbnails from photos. Now, a little bit of background. Uh, we went on a family vacation. I uh, copied photos into um, the Photos app on Mac. I'm running the latest version of Photos, whatever, whatever latest version this is. And um, they weren't copied into the album, and they were left on the flash drive. And I had, I didn't realize that, and then I, I deleted them from the flash drive, thinking, oh, well, they're in photos, so I can delete them and clear up the flash drive and use it for something else. Well, I did that, and then found out that my, uh, my flash drive uh, was messed up. Now, here is Disk Utility. You can see the Alexar USB flash drive. This is what I'm trying to actually fix. I'm actually running some software on here to try and, and recover the files called Disk Drill. Uh, but it's not, uh, it's, it's taken forever, basically. And I've tried this before and it hasn't worked. So I'm still continuing work on trying to um, get what I can off the flash drive. But I have 1,200 photos from that family vacation. And they were all gone. Except that when I looked at them, I noticed that when you clicked on it, it came up, but then it popped up with a message that the original is missing. So in a second here, you'll see original missing. Now what I did, I, I went and selected them all from the photos, um, the main, you know, the main list of photos. Um, I found all the ones that were original missing errored. Um, so I, and I took the first and the last, basically dragged them into their own album called Missing Originals, and that was just so I could find them, locate them easier next time. But all the actual list, so this is what you're looking at is a thumbnail. Now it's a pretty decent thumbnail on things considered. Um, but it's not the original. So here's the missing file error. This is what I get with 1,200 of my photos. And so we, lo we thought we had lost it all, but I knew that the thumbnail was still there. So then my quest was, well, how do you get the thumbnail? How do you exp uh, export or extract uh, the thumbnails? So if, so if you try and export them, photos. missing file. And if you go try and find the original, obviously you can't find it because the flash drive is wrecked, so I can't import them again. The original high quality file is completely gone, um, never to be gotten back again unless I can fix that Lexar USB drive. But I thought, you know, if, if you try and export it, well, you can't. You can't get the thumbnail. So what I ended up doing was, and uh, all 1,200 photos in this missing originals uh, album are the ones where um, there is no... <clears throat> Let me see if, uh, let me go to this one here, and you'll see that this one also says <clears throat> missing, uh, missing original. So then what I tried was, well, if I can get them into a slideshow, at least I can make a slideshow video and export that, and at least we have a video of the photos. And then I got to thinking, well, can I get the still frames out of that video that I make? So what I did was, first you go, you go ahead and select them, all your missing original photos, you can right click or just you know there's other buttons to create one but right click I'll do, I'll do the right click and I'll say create uh, let me let me actually pick some different ones so that you can see that it's uh, actually uh, picking different ones here uh, let's see I'll pick some random photos there I'll pick three random photos and you can see slideshow up at the top but I'll go to create slideshow here once it stops a uh, bouncy ball spinning. <clears throat> and I'll show you, I'll basically walk you through the process of actually getting the frames out of it so you can at least get 1080p uh, images. So go create a slideshow. So it's going to create a slideshow of, I'm going to call this test. going to create a slideshow of the three images that I selected basically. Should go quicker since I only have three. And then I'll walk you through the process of the app that you got to get to actually extract the still frames uh, from the video. So here is um, the the slideshow. You know, there it is. So it's got the three photos in it. That's that's well and good and nice. But now what you want to do is you can go ahead to your time here and your stopwatch and set it to the minimum amount of time. You can make it the the uh, images last forever or do a minimum amount of time. And a minimum of amount of time allows you, basically, it's going to do one frame per second. That's kind of what it's going to do. You can remove the transitions because you don't need those extra frames in there. You can choose the option to scale photos to fit screen or not. I think if you scale to fit screen, you may lose some, um, uh, some image from the top and bottom. So I don't do that. 
Um, you can go to the music, you can turn off your music if you want, just get it rid of the music, although it doesn't matter, you're just going to be extracting the frames from the video anyways. And that's it. Um, classic is what you want. You don't want origami because then it puts all the images on one frame. You want the classic where it just does one photo at a time. <clears throat> so now we'll go up to the top right hand corner and click export. And we're going to export this at the highest definition you can do. And remember, these are thumbnails that it's exporting. So we're going to go to the desktop and call it Missing Originals Test. Uh, we're not going to send it to iTunes, but high definition, 1080, because that's the best we can do. Um, basically, we're trying to get these thumbnails out. Even though they're not the highest resolution images, uh, we can at least get those out. So next, what you want to do while this is exporting, you want to go to the App Store and you want to pay $6.99 and get this Photos Extractor Pro program. So you notice I got it, $6.99, you can see on the uh, right side there, $6.99, it is 23 megabytes. It's not really <clears throat> rated by anybody. I'm going to go ahead and rate it right now, <clears throat> see if I can rate it. I should probably actually put in a, a, a review because this actually did work for me very well, actually, and it's only version 2. So I went ahead and got that, so let's open that up. So here is the actual Photos, uh, Photos Extractor Pro. Now this is kind of neat. So what we can do is we can go ahead and open our video um, so we can extract it. So here is our missing originals test video, the three photos that we want to extract out of. Remember, this is thumbnails that did not have originals in photos. All right, so it's saved it. It sees uh, where the photos are. Now what you can do is you can actually move the marker and um, select which, which frame you want. But actually, if you go to Preferences here, you can set it to export uh, take or take a snapshot of the uh, frame in the video every second. And because we minimized the length of time that our slideshow took, basically every frame is one second. You saw one second, so that's good. Um, you can choose PNG or JPEG. So, you know, I'll just pick JPEG, and then you can pick your size. Um, we're not getting the best quality out of it, because, again, we're just using the thumbnails that Photos has, but that's fine. Rotation as is, we're not going to rotate them. So we're going to go ahead and close this, and uh, it's saying that it's going to extract 12 photos. I, w I wonder if I didn't... Uh, I don't know if I did that exactly the way I did, but anyways, it's close enough that you can uh, figure what to do. So we're going to go back to desktop here. We're going to create a new folder. Uh, missing photos test uh, folder because this is where it's actually going to extract those images too. So we've made that folder, click open. Now it's going to go ahead and extract uh, the images uh, from this. Thank you. Our, extracted. All right, so let's go open uh, missing test folder. And here are the images. Now in this case, I was able to get one image per second. So I, I did something slightly different there, obviously. Maybe it works a little better uh, if... Ah, I didn't I didn't put it as slow as possible, that's why. Uh, I didn't export it as slow as possible. Let's do that one more time. You can see it's 0 0.03. Export that. Let's do it one more time and yes, replace that existing one. And this will be one frame per second. There you go. I messed up. But I'll show you it correctly here. Let's go ahead and, uh, so that was done. Let's go ahead and open this video, open the fresh video again here. So it should be smaller this time. All right, so now we can uh, do one photo per second. All right, there, there you go. So it sees uh, six images now. I guess there, there's still some transitions there. And this isn't quite as uh, perfect as it, it seemed to be for me. It seemed to be really simple for me. If I go to frame, you can see it shows 116 frames. Maybe there's transitions or something here that I have. Uh, but anyways, let's close that. Let's extract that one. Desktop. And we're going to call this number two, just because I just want to get it done quick. And it's going to go ahead and extract the frames. And by the time you're done, here are the frames. Now, like I say, there is a, a duplicate uh, photo there. Um, not the end of the world, it is what it is, but it basically gets your photos out. One downside to this, I will mention, however, thank you very much, uh, Photos Extractor Pro, $7. Um, when, you, when you move like 1,200, well, you can't do 1,200 photos to slideshow, first of all. I think the max is like 344, so I had to make four different slideshows. And when you uh, select 300, 
It doesn't put them in any order. It doesn't put them in the order that you see them, so it jumbles them all up. There's probably a better way to do that, to be honest. There's probably a way around that. I haven't figured it out yet. But it was enough that I could extract the photos uh, sufficiently. And if there's a couple of duplicates, you know, I don't care uh, in, in photos. I'm happy that I've got the thumbnails back, but now there are originals for those thumbnails. So if I go back here, let's see if I can go back to show you my photos. And we'll see if this is uh, fast enough here. It may not be. Uh, but basically, you've extracted those files, and now um, you have a whole set of originals. Then what I did was I went into Photos, into Imports, actually, and then you select them all, and then you can, I think it's right-click, and you can set the date and time uh, on the photo. Uh, yeah, so in Image up at the top here, Adjust Date and Time. So you can adjust date and time for bulk photos for all 1200 photos I basically made them May 1st because that was a time period in which the originals were from it's not perfect and they're not in order but at least I got my 1200 photos back and then again they're not high resolution so I'm still working on that but like I say at least I have my photos back let me see if I can uh, pull back where these are May 1st yes yeah, so you, you notice these are letterbox here like this one for example uh, that's because I extracted it from the video uh, but now you'll notice that um, the actual uh, photo, now we can actually edit it. Now it doesn't give me the error uh, about missing original because we have the original. We extracted it from the video. So there you go. So here's, here's the actual name of the original file. And you can prepend them, I think, whatever you want there. Um, you'll notice it's 1.3 megabytes. It's not huge, um, but it is at least uh, 1080. Um, you know, it's better than nothing. If you've lost everything, you just have thumbnails left. The thumbnails are actually pretty decent in photos, so you can actually recover them. So just a quick video there to show you what I did to recover my photos. I don't think I forgot anything. I'll try and put the list in the description. Um, but basically for $6.99, I was able to recover the thumbnails. I don't know of any other way to do this. I searched Google. People have talked about going into the photos database. There's no um, thumbnails folder like there used to be. Uh, when you open the you know show contents of the, the package or whatever of the photos app um, that's just not there anymore so you can't go that route there might be a way to get it out of the database but I could not find anybody who uh, had anything uh, close to getting into the database of photos and getting those thumbnails out themselves so this is an easy way that seems to work when you move it to slideshow it, it uses the thumbnails it doesn't, it doesn't actually use the original photos. So that's one way around um, getting them out of there uh, because otherwise you can't export the, the thumbnails as is. So this saves your bacon. You don't get the best. There's downsides like I did mention, but at least you get some of your, your files back. So hope that helps the next person and uh, make sure to back up your files and make sure you're also, I will show you the option to prevent this happening in the future. If you go into uh, photo and preferences, this copy items to uh, Photos Library, this is key. If I had done that originally and imported from my Lexar USB device, it would have copied them to the folder, uh, Photos folder itself instead of just simply sim linking or whatever it did back to the Lexar drive and assuming that the Lexar drive would always be there for the photos. This is far better, so always have, when importing, copy the items to your um, Photos Library. That is a key that will ensure that you don't have this problem, that you don't run into the same problem again that I did. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps the next person. Please ask me questions if I ne neglected to uh, say something. I probably missed something, uh, but I think I have the whole process down there for you so you can get it. I'm still working on disk drill to recover uh, other files uh, or even maybe the originals, uh, but I don't hold a lot of high hopes, honestly. So it's depressing, but at least I didn't lose everything. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave it there. And we'll see you guys in the next video.